Welcome to our tutorial on Copilot for DevOps V5, where we'll be focusing on the chat functionality. The chat functionality is designed to provide an interactive assistance platform within the Azure DevOps environment. It allows users to perform various project management tasks through conversational interactions. Users can ask questions and receive real-time assistance for managing Azure DevOps tasks, such as creating, updating, and querying work items. The chat is integrated with Azure DevOps services, allowing for prod operations when managing work items, queries, sprints, and more directly through the chat interface. Once you click on chat from the Copilot 4 DevOps dashboard, it automatically creates a new chat for you for each chat. You're able to select which AI model you want to run, and you'll also see the AI model that we recommend for modern requirements for your use in chat. Now, in the main prompt area, you can see the placeholder text appear before you type anything. This highlights the key characters you can use to reference work items, reference a user, a query, or even attach files. So here we can enter in our first prompt. So let's go ahead and, and try this. Let's look for all of our features. So we're searching for features that have a release to tag marked, and this allows us to fetch those work items. Now through chat, we have the ability to create queries through our textual instructions and use those to fetch work items from our project. Now, as you can see, all of the features that have a release to tag are being listed out as part of our results, and we can also access and modify these work items directly from the chat as well by prompting the change. So let's say for feature. 12,421. We want to modify the state to active. We also want to see the updated state as well, along with the title and description fields. Now, as part of your prompt, you'll see a few additional options. So here we can insert text blocks to help support our prompt. Here we also have the ability to rewrite the prompt using Copilot 4 DevOps. So this will rewrite what you've placed or what you already have. Refine it so that these instructions are better handled by chat. And from there, you can go ahead and send this off and AI chat will do its magic. We can make changes to our work items as well. Now let's try this. Let's say for feature 12,421, we want to modify the state to active. We also want to see the updated state as well, along with the title and description fields. Now, as part of your prompt, you'll see a few additional options. So here, we can insert text blocks to help support our prompt. Here, we also have the ability to rewrite the prompt using Copilot for DevOps. So this will rewrite what you've placed or what you've inputted, refine it, so that these instructions are better handled by chat. And from there, you can go ahead and send this off. Now, chat has updated the status or the state of the work item to active and has displayed the corresponding fields as requested, so you can view and update work items through chat. You also have the ability to elicit and create new work items through chat as well. So let's say for the feature that we've created, we'll ask chat to create a list of user stories for us and we'll specify which fields we want to populate, in this case, title, description, and acceptance criteria. And we'll go ahead and send this prompt.
So here we can see chat is generating a suggested list of user stories with their title, description, and acceptance criteria. And from here, once you've assessed this list, you can instruct chat to create these work items in Azure DevOps. This could be a single item or all of the work items that are suggested. So we'll ask chat to create these work items as user story work items and also provide a link so that we can review what was created. Now here we can see the list of user stories created, and we also have a link to the work item. You can click it, and it will open up the work item in the standard ADO editor. Now we can create and elicit work items from any work item in our project. We also have the ability to create work items based on documents, images, or other files that you can provide as an input. Simply click on this paperclip icon to upload. And from there, you can upload files from your local device. So here we've selected our audio design documents that outlines the feature specifications for an audio device. Using the contents of this document, we can ask chat to go through, analyze the documents, and extract out potential requirements that we can publish and use in your DevOps environment. So, based on the analysis, Copilot has generated a series of functional requirements, as well as non-functional and similar to our user story. We can go ahead and publish these as work items to be used in Azure DevOps. Now, with our chats, they are partitioned into two different groups. So you can either create chats under your My Chats, which are accessible for you and can be viewed only by you. You can also create chats under the Shared Chats group, which makes these chats available and accessible for every user in the project. Shared chats also allow you to collaborate with other users in your project to discuss project requirements, as well as manage tasks collectively. In summary, the AI chat feature within Copilot 4 DevOps is a robust tool that streamlines project management within Azure DevOps. It automates tasks, enhances collaboration, and improves overall productivity. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. Make sure you try out a chat feature in Copilot 4 DevOps V5 and be sure to check out all of our other tutorial videos on Copilot for DevOps.